Well, John, I suppose in the context of the season, that's a frustrating result. What's your verdict? Yeah, I think exactly that. In the context of the season, it's it's really frustrating because we, we probably needed to win that game to, to keep those playoff hopes alive. But uh, if you take away the, the context, if you take away the the sort of the playoff push, um, which I know we can't, um, by the way, I'm, I'm not pretending that we, we, we can do that, but um, it's a decent point away from home against a, a difficult side um, whose form... Over the past few weeks, uh, although they haven't picked up many wins, they've not lost many games and they've, they've hosted some, some top sides here, uh, not lost the games and, and they've also sort of gone away from home, Peterborough for example, and, and kept clean sheets. So, uh, yeah, I think obviously the feeling of, of disappointment is one that you know, so reverberates, I think, with the, with the away fans and in the changing room and we get that completely. But, uh, uh, you know, I think um, performance-wise, in particular the first half, I thought we were excellent. You must be particularly frustrated with that second half where we probably weren't able to, to carve out a real clear-cut opportunity. Yeah, and, and we did that, I thought, pretty well in the first half, that we, we dominated possession and we, we played some really good football, particularly down the right-hand side. I thought um, Paddy and Michael were picking up really excellent positions in behind Colby um, and we were well, you know, um, a good value for the lead. Yeah, unfortunately in the second half we, we couldn't quite replicate that, but it's, it's difficult. It's, it's difficult coming away from home against a side who were really well organised, really good defensive structure behind the ball, made it very difficult for us and, and of course we've got to come up with better solutions to try and win the game, but um, yeah, sometimes, uh, sometimes those things don't happen and tonight was probably one of those. It was always going to be a tough one coming to a place where you know Oxford are fighting for points at the bottom of the league. How do you think we dealt with them overall? I think we dealt with them really well. It was it was one of those where um, obviously a side that are a fifth bottom and, and fighting for their lives, um, you know, have, have come and really, really, I think, uh, picked themselves up over the past couple of weeks. Uh, particularly in terms of the way that they do, they do defend and, and they do press. They're very, very solid and very, very organised, particularly behind the ball. And they made it difficult for us tonight. There's no doubt about that. They didn't perform. I'm sure everybody um, would recognise that they didn't perform like a side who were who were fifth bottom. Um, I thought they they had a lot of confidence. I thought they were a, th a threat going forward. And I thought we did very well to contain them. Some of their attacking players are, are some of the best in the league um, on their day, without a doubt. And we did really well to contain them. So uh, I think there's there's a couple of things there. Of course, um, we know that we need to be better. We 100% know that we need to be better and we have to come here and um, or, or go away from home and, and really try and dominate games a bit more for 90 minutes and not just probably what we did, which was 30, 35. Um, but yeah, and, and definitely just a, a learning curve and, and plenty of room for improvement. You said yesterday about turning those draws into wins, especially at this stage of the season. So why do you think we weren't able to do that tonight? Was it down to that sort of creativity in the attacking third again? I think so, yeah. Um, there's quite a lot of factors. We'll have to sort of dust ourselves off and see what the um, the overall analysis of the game was. But yeah, we, we didn't create a huge amount, I think, in the final third, especially in the second half. So we played some really good stuff. We picked up some really good positions. But yeah, ultimately, in the in the final third, we, we just um, didn't quite have enough to, to carve Oxford open. You made four changes ahead of the game. What was the thinking there? Yeah, so um, sort of one of the changes we made a couple of weeks ago, bringing Deshaun in for Clark, um, just a different type of centre half uh, to deal with a different type of threat. Um, Clark's performance at the, at the weekend was, was really good, so it was nothing to do with performance. And then uh, Tom came back from injury. Nice to have Tom back in the side, and, and then just to freshen up the, the two wide men in terms of Paddy and Michael, uh, just to you know, give ourselves a bit of a boost after a tough away trip at the, at the weekend and, and really go from there. And just finally, unfortunately, it does look to be the end of playoff hopes so how are you going to approach the rest of the season now? Uh, exactly as we've been approaching it for the past few weeks nothing's going to change um, you know whether the the playoffs are um, mathematically done or not it, it doesn't really matter to us we're going to make sure that we, we still try and win games we still try and attack games and we're nice and positive so we take that into the, uh, the start of next season.